The UN Climate Change Conference, also known as COP28, was forced into overtime today as world leaders in Dubai race to hammer out a deal in the final hours. So as this year's Conference of the Parties comes to a close tonight, a look at the nearly two-week-long summit by the numbers. On the 13th and final day, closed-door negotiations pushed well into the early morning hours in the United Arab Emirates. At issue, a deep divide between nations over how to deal with fossil fuels after a 21-page draft was issued Monday. That draft suggested eight options countries could take to cut emissions. One option called for countries to lower consumption and production of fossil fuels instead of phasing them out. The goal there to achieve net zero by before or around the year 2050. More than 100 nations, including the U.S., pushed for language to include a phase-out. Looking at other highlights from this year's meeting, 152 countries endorsed the Declaration of Agriculture, Food Systems and Climate Action, which addresses the link between food and climate. In total, more than $7.1 billion was mobilized during this year's summit for climate positive action in the food sector. Another big announcement, more than 30 country members committed to the Freshwater Challenge, an initiative to protect and restore 30% of the Earth's degraded freshwater ecosystems by 2030. But the fight to save our planet is far from over, with next year's talks already on the calendar starting November 11th in Southwest Asia in Azerbaijan. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.